In the Pacific, people don't separate themselves from the environment, and so this is a natural place to be trying to work with local people to be undertaking interventions in management that improve public health, environmental health as part of overall system health. My name is Stacy Jupiter. I'm a marine biologist. I live in Fiji and I work in a region called Melanesia. It is one of the most biodiverse, rich places on the planet. What makes this place really unique among the world is that indigenous people are stewards of the environment. They have recognition within the constitution of all of these countries, rights of indigenous people to the land and also rights to use and access the sea. When I came to Fiji, I immediately got involved in an ongoing project that was working with the 10 communities of Kumbalao District to do ecosystem-based management, to really think about how do they want to manage their forests, their waterways, the coastal areas, and the downstream reefs, all within the context of a single plan. And so this resulted in Fiji's first district level ridge reef management plan, which then became a template that we've subsequently rolled out to numerous districts all around the country. One of the areas where I focus throughout my career is looking at how people have done harvests from what's called a tambu area, which is fisheries from which indigenous people periodically open it up to harvest for some social event. We worked with the communities to schedule a time when they would be harvesting their fish resources and we did underwater surveys both with divers in the water but also using video surveys to record what was happening and then recording all of the fish coming in. We coupled these field surveys with fisheries models, bioeconomic models, to be able to project into the future what would happen under different fishing scenarios. So we've used these tools to then develop these outputs, and then my job has been to, to take these outputs and figure out how best to communicate to local people in ways that they understand to make the best decisions. In 2015, the United Nations developed the Sustainable Development Goals. A lot of the work that I've been involved with has been trying to link what we do to these sustainable development goals, but also make sure that they're recognizing that there are many other different important aspects of human well-being that aren't necessarily well captured, like people's connection to place, people's connection to the environment, people's connection to each other, how people depend on the environment for their mental health and their spiritual health. 